hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Attingham Park. We've, um, what is that? Straw? Let's pop that round at the... We're, um... Just sorting out the cows. I managed to pick up a nice second hand brand new manure pit Barry uh, told me about. The old badder. Drop uh, that there. I'm going to see if we can use a separated manure for bedding for them. I'll see you later, Barry. See you. Cheers, pal. Um, the hay bales won't break down, so we may have to look at getting a shredder. But I'm going to test it with this. Smaller bit really. If this breaks it down, it goes in, then that's fine. And if separated manure goes in, then that's really good because we can use that from the digestate thing. Potentially put a separated manure heap in instead of the transportable one, as we wouldn't need it. Uh, I think I've got. TMR sorted although if it continues to split into forage then we may have to look at some sort of standalone TMR mixer that is fixed as opposed to one that we drive through there's the manure heap, sits quite nicely there. Oh yeah, nearly jackknifed. But obviously we're not producing manure yet because there's no bedding. I can't tell if the manure heap is working or not. I did want to get the sorghum contract started oh yeah right that's that's a bit of a game changer that's really good so that starts they've got a bit of bed in now So if we're potentially carting separated manure backwards and forwards, it might make sense just to have a fixed TMR. I suppose you don't want to be mixing the food. And the bedding. Oh, that's the beach drawer. pretty much a derivative of it. Okay, that works. So, maybe a shredder. And while that's going, are we getting nothing about manure yet? Ooh. Yeah, 
handy. Oh, that gate's open there. I did not know that opened. Interesting. Uh, we'll put this here for now. I'm a little bit concerned I'm not seeing anything about manure yet. Give them another bail of it. We'll be getting loads of straw once we do that oat harvest anyway. I might need to change that manure pit, which I don't really want to do. Bit of bedding showing there. Got to change that feed up. Nearly went over your trotters. Hoofs. Hoof, cow, hoof. Trotters are pigs. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> um. uh, I just need to drop off the white, don't we? Before I move, Look at that eighteen thousand litres of purest TMR. This will have your, there you go, this will have your feeding up for a good one. Oh, 
Right, I'm going to test something. I'm going to need to do it off camera because I might need to save and reinstall. Definitely no manure yet. Yeah, let me test something out. Oh, do, 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 do. We've got the team out harvesting. I'm just going to let them go their own way, to be honest. I'm not. Not too uh, bothered by that. I'll do the clearing up afterwards, that's fine by me. Where are we taking this? Not that one, that one. To the old water mill, that's quite a distance. Quite a distance indeed. Yeah, that's the other end of the map. Oh, this is going to be an all-nighter, I think. Oh, well. It's very strange how this steering wheel slightly over to the right. Especially if you were left-handed, maybe. Um... We've currently got three manure pits set up at the cow farm and we'll see if any of them do anything. I don't know if it's a bug or a glitch or what. This is probably going to be something that requires a bit of a speed up with some jaunty music behind it.
to say I'm pleasantly surprised at how much progress has been made up to now. What on earth are you blocked by? We've got four workers on the go. That's most of it. Sometimes even dropping down to even going up to five at one point. And luckily I'd got the uh, tractor and trailer for the potato harvest because we've got the use of that, that's come in invaluable for the, uh, for the New Holland because it's 52,000 litres which is wonderful. Say work at A. And you're flashing. They're both flashing. This one, he sat there waiting. I think I won't see you now until the morning. I've got a feeling sorghum's pretty difficult to do when it gets dark, so we better crack on and get this done. And then I'll move everything into position for the next day. Depending on how much the staff are going to cost. I'm fairly fairly much considering another purchase but we'll see I could do it with you filling up Stop. Perfect. Mm. 
little bit to <laughs> there's going to be a lot of cleaning up for me to do on this It's a lovely morning here, nearly well, it's 20 to 6 a.m. On a beautiful August morning, we've been up all night harvesting potatoes and sorghum. We've got 16% of this field taken because it's huge. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, we've got three harvest contracts on, because I took an extra one, so that we've got two harvesters running. One at each side of the field. And you may have noticed in the short little clip, a harvester has come up on sale 61% off there was absolutely no chance of me saying no to that so I extended our credit um, to pick it up basically because my theory is there it is the Tryon not that way, that way. 48. Uh, yeah, this, this is going to take ages. But all the sorghum has been... What's this guy doing now? Having a meltdown because of the tree, isn't he? Worker I, that's the other one. I don't know what you're doing, mate. So let's relieve him of some of his potatoes and start shuttling this down. But yeah, this is going to be a really big, long job. Tried to do a live stream of it, wasn't working for some reason. Couldn't see none of the comments. Very annoying, so... Apologies to those of you that were there and commenting. Farmer King George, I know you were one. Right, let's crack on. The weight at the back of this does cause it to push the tractor unit. I suppose there's 52,000 litres of potatoes. It is a lot. I've just been doing the maths for this field. Field... 15. Every, every one of these trailer loads is 3%. 
So if it gets to 100%, that's over 33 deliveries. At 52,000, that's 1.7 something million. It's like one, it's one and three quarter million liters of potatoes. And we're only just halfway. That is a lot. We're in the middle of August, coming towards the evening. However, we're very close. So I've got to clear up these bits, these neat ups, these three trees, and then just go around the outside again for any missed bits. And we've done the 1.3 quarters of a million. Big harvest. Obviously, it split the um, the delivery point is the same as the smallest of the contracts we've got. So next, we're going to move on to the middle-sized contract because we've got two harvesters still, and then we'll. Uh, get a tackle on that. I've had to bring one of the Massey Fergusons over with some diesel because this is I mean this has been working pretty much flat out for nearly 24 in game hours, I suppose. But yeah, pretty good progress being made. I'm hoping this will all be done. Oops, those blasted trees. Right, might be best going from the other side. I mean, to be fair, just. Bits done. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll tidy up the rest of this field and then we'll go and start the next contract which I have no doubt will take us all the way through the night. But we'll have a bit of a better idea of uh, our bigger harvest. We're already up to one and three quarter million litres of potatoes, so I'm pretty sure we'll be way over two, two and a half million, I think, easily. Uh, space wise it's 80 acres that we're doing so this is one hell of a mammoth we're on to the second field just as it's getting dark um, I've set a worker on that but I have no idea what he's doing. Like, scarily don't know what he's doing. Um, 
clearing up the end of that field, trying to uh, send some workers to move some of the uh, equipment down this way. Absolute nightmare for it. One of them still sat in a tree. This one in the New Holland, he was in the middle of a field, nowhere near the route he should have been going. And just sat there, just gave up. Incredible. Whereas the, uh, the people we'd hired yesterday and today to do the harvesting, absolutely fantastic. Couldn't fault them on the old harvesters, they were brilliant. But again, this is going to be a very long and arduous task. So, it'll be the end of August now before we catch up again, I think. I don't know if possibly I might. I might have to break because that oat field's going to need harvesting. By the end of August. And I want to do it in the daylight with the new combine. Is that going to fit? No, I don't think it would. Uh, I'm going to hope to do quite a few runs of the outside of this myself just so hopefully it means there's less to clear up at the end because the chances are this could be getting well, I suppose it might it'll be daylight again by the time we finish energy drinks a go go this is the second night in a row I think we'll be up Full grain tank to go go. I better start moving, moving around with the truck to collect. I'm gonna have to be doing the delivery before I've got a headland in, am I? Oh well, you take these jobs on, don't you? This is really nice. There's something very pleasing about watching the work getting finished up. probably don't need two of them on here because I'm stood around but these guys have worked really hard over the last couple of days how that's still got diesel in it I don't know I'm assuming as soon as it stops it will need refilling Technically, all of the deliveries have been done. So, everything that we take at the minute is ours. We're already at 100,000 litres of potatoes, which is brilliant for ourselves. But yeah, this is nice. We're all tired, don't get me wrong. But happy. We're just doing the last little bit, the last clearing up of the last of this 
behemoth of a potato harvest. I mean, we're still harvesting it, we've still got to drop off what's left to our silo and um, I'm hoping it's not more than that trailer full although that trailer is getting pretty full I've got a feeling there's a room for about 10,000 litres maybe yeah it might be a bit of an issue might be two trips but then we can pull the money in uh, checking the calendar this is potatoes are best at the value around about December time I think so we'll be sitting on these until they're roughly at their peak that'll be a bit of a mission because there's, there's over 200,000 litres that we're going to be sitting on so but that's a winter job, you know, we have to hire something, big trailer or whatever, to move it, and we, we do so. In December there won't be too much going on, I hope. And that should be a good amount back in. been a long old slug though, it's actually took me a whole weekend of doing, like real time, about 12 hours a day. But, you know, the money that we make off this contract is paying for the new harvester that we unexpectedly had a win on oh this is going to be tight am I going to yeah I thought I would thought I might I think this should be all of it. Will it fit? Attention. Get down. Go, 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 go. Empty. Oh no. All right. I probably need another trailer then in that case. So let's pop that there. I'll get everything moved on and over. And then I'll have to pick up a little trailer. Where is my small trailer? Oh, I'm sure there's one 
not too far away that we can pick up but if we can get all this done by lunchtime I shall be very happy we'll get all the equipment back and then we'll reassess where we're at at that point We've got the last of it. Um, take and drop it all off. I'm really, uh, really pleased that it's 10 a.m. We've still got plenty of time to get the oat up out of that field. we should probably check on the sorghum the soybeans not due yet drop the this diesel. These diesel drums, I'll drop them here as well. Because it is quite handy. Having them here. We needed it though, everything's nearly run out. The, uh, Log cabin sold, gone. Been picked it up while we're working away. All possessions moved in to. Uh, well, it's a house basically, isn't it? With rooms. Not having a bath. Sofa. Got a sofa. I don't get to sit on it much. I think I might have a little kip on it when I get back. So I'll certainly need a nap and a shower before the next episode, that's for sure. Oh, we need to set Buell out for a run this morning, isn't it? I think I'm going to pop it around here. And then I'll knock it over. Oh, it's come back up. Physics. Uh, this it's the tractor from the show. It doesn't really matter which which of these tractors sit anyway, really, does it? But it looks like all of its equipment is the arms and everything are there. So we should probably look at some numbers, shouldn't we really? Eighty acres of potatoes harvested. Eighty acres of 
potatoes harvested. Uh, I've wrote some notes down for you. Smallest field, 325,000 litres. Medium field, 650,000 litres. And the big field, 1.77 million litres, or 1.768 to be exact, which is a total of 2.75 million, two and three quarter million litres of potatoes. I can't tell you how many potatoes individually that would be, but you know, I would imagine that's a potato for every person living in the United Kingdom. So how's that for your cost of living crisis? Actually, what's the price of potatoes? If you did own those fields, what would you be earning? Uh, top end. Let's say 200. Oh yeah, per thousand litres. <laughs> Bear with me. Just take me a moment. Oh, look at that big spot I've missed just now. Go and get the machines quick. Um Five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I make it. That's a half a million pound harvest. So really, I mean, that's six seventeen grand. We're getting twenty sixty hundred and fifty grand ourselves. Hundred and fifty grand for us, four hundred grand for the landowners. Now what sort of figures are we looking at for where is the money bit? How much have we spent on staff? Minus 30 grand on wages. Well, that's for the whole month, but we've still got. We're only two thirds of the way through it. But I'm quite happy with that because that also means we better not repay it yet because we need to sort out a header for the harvester. The sheep are looking good. But yeah, some big numbers there. Big, big numbers. So all that's left for me to say until next time, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop us a like. If you've not subscribed yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Hit the comment section if you've got anything you'd like to see or happen in the series. And in the meantime, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank all of the AI helpers. Some of whom worked fastidiously through two nights non-stop.
and I'm sure we'll all enjoy a pint at the local hotel when it's all done and the harvest season is finished and bearing in mind they've been paid 30 grand I think they should be getting the first round in but right now I need to go have a shower and a nap and get ready to go again on the oat field in the next episode this guy again he loves it in there absolutely loves it in there but yes thanks again for watching and bye bye for now <laughs>